Hello everyone here. As I was staring at this building the last couple of days, wondering whether I should continue the texture to apply it over here to this section which I did last time, and exactly what to improve upwards, I discovered something. The I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like it because it is not proportionally correct. And that's what I mean. The distance here between the towers could be better. The windows here should be a little bit, well, not really wider, but the distance between the um, windows and the pillars, the columns should be a little bit more than one and a half plates. And also I found out that inside there are some things that could be improved. So long story short, guess what? This whole thing is coming apart once again. Let's go. There we go. Separated everything. Took out the back side, the plates here, all the little cartridges, the gardens, the towers are detachable, this whole module is separate, the roof, I even detached the lighting, which is over there, because the lighting is going to be different and it's going to get in the way. So now the idea is basically, you see there is four studs of difference um, of space between each little tower. I want to increase this to six because it will look a little bit better and also it will be around 22 studs longer this section which is a little bit more accurate in proportion in comparison to the length of the courtyard. Even now it's fine, it's fine, but it will look better, I know it will. So each space here will increase by two, so by 50%, and as well over here. So these windows, instead of one and a half plate of difference for this frame, will be another I believe another brick over here, another brick over there, which will make the frame part thicker, which should look better. And that's the plan. And also, I have some very nice plans for actually making this whole thing even more detachable than it is. Right now it's hollow, everything's pulled out from everywhere. And I want to make sure that this side here is also detachable with the inside so you can easily film from here not only by opening the doors and the great hall as well so we'll see how that works out I have a lot of work to do we'll see how much i actually managed to do till the next update but actually pretty excited let's go all right well that was a lot of work but I think that most of the nasty stuff is actually behind me now because I've spent, first of all, a lot of time of fixing the um, overall layout, the base, making sure to keep the distances correct. Also, I made a several pictures of the whole texture, so all the cracks I have seeing where they are and I am placing them as I've built them and also I will place the outer layer and the last layer of texture as it was before obviously with the additional studs here and there but the pattern will be essentially the same which will save me a lot of work later on. What I first did after fixing the base was actually covering this whole inside with tiles which uh, wasn't really done before and caused some problems while uh, placing or trying to separate the trays that are actually inside. But that now is actually done. 
Then the next thing I did is made sure that the foyer is a different section. So if you see here, it is actually separate. You can take it away and it is connected by clips. So far two, one on the bottom, one in the middle, and there'll be one up here as well. So I think three for now, that should be enough. And obviously corresponding the same way, three on the other side. This will make this whole thing a lot easier to film, add another module to the whole building, make sure that when I transport this, it's a lot easier. Although it wasn't easy now, it took me about 30 minutes to disassemble them uh, before starting really to uh, destroy things. But this will add another module really and it will be even more convenient. What will also be more convenient is that this here is now on a mills plate. And once we place the gates here, uh, they will also be removable. This wall will be modular. We will be able to remove it. So we'll be able to see this really properly and take it out. And that is done, obviously, with these little things here that support it. And you can easily take it out. And then what I did was really uh, build every section once because obviously the uh, distances are different. This was before four studs, now it's six studs. It actually solved a lot of problems that I had before with the small windows. The arches, these arches here, they were connected to the pillars before. And now I actually have enough space to place them one stud backwards which will also be the same for the upper arches as well. Making sure that they're not part of the columns, it will look even more close to the original model. Also, this is what the panel of the lower windows looks, well, looked before. Now, obviously, this distance here is not three studs anymore, it's five studs. So what I do is I take this out and this out, basically the two frames, and I attach this to it. And that really makes it fit over here. And here it is. And now with these five studs being between the two panels, the two frames, it corresponds with these five studs. And this can be just slides over here, like so. This also gave me a chance to improve the interior. So I am doing that while uh, building the exterior. Now here, this line here that is left is going to be for the mills plate. That is going to be this. This is also going to be removable. So I can easily set it up, film it, take pictures, or just change the composition. So this will be covered with a tile over here, some tiles, and then basically the floor will be about where this brown line is. And this will be the interior that will be visible from here upwards. Now this is where the panels are once placed, and this is what they look like from the inside. And similar to the old model that I just destroyed, this will be covered like so, in order for it to look really like a window frame from the inside as well. This is achieved by using two by fours, like so, but also prevent the panel from falling inwards. So it is really sandwiched between this and the outer pillars. And then we just simply place this little thing, a plate and quite a few tiles and macaroni tiles, like so. And there you go. Very tidy, very pretty, and very convenient. Including the foyer module, this whole building here will be now, if my calculations are correct, 100 and two studs, which is nearly 100 centimeters on itself. This is really the reason 
mainly that I decided to go through this big reconstruction because uh, I just didn't really like the length of this section compared to the courtyard. I know I did this already once and I thought it looked good enough, but the whole building should really be a tight bit longer. So it is being increased by 22 studs and that also, well, I'm using this whole process to improve all the other things that I already mentioned. And wherever possible, I am trying to add other improvements as well. It's just the ones that I mentioned. And I'm probably going to add a few more as I continue building. So what I did, I, I, can, I basically built a whole site from top to bottom, solving the different changes. And then the last thing that I did before I actually picked up the camera was starting to build it by layers because it's very a lot easier on the brain to do the same thing. Otherwise, I get confused. I miss things because I need to think about the texture here. Uh, there need to be, although this seems kind of random, there are not. I there needs to be a two by two at least on each line where there is additional um, texture. That changes obviously, and over here where we have this uh, module here, this little decoration, it always needs to have these two. Then on the inside, we also have such studs to place the interior tiles. They need to be attached, and also here there needs to be studs next to the um, arches as well, and all sorts of different stuff that I need to think about and not miss going backwards. Uh, for example, discovering that here I need to add something, uh, it's very problematic or obviously I'm building by layer. So this is whole attached to this pillar, to this pillar. So it's as sturdy as possible going back. It's really time consuming in addition. So I'm trying to avoid that. So once I build this whole section here from top to bottom, so I have it as a reference, I started building this layer here and added this here, the brown line, that's really a something that gives me a uh, layout that I know what I'm doing. Then I did the next layer here. Then I'm adding the windows now. And after that, I am going to check the pattern here. See, as I've added this one here from the looking at the pictures that I've made. So on with the other pillars, I'll see where it is. And I'll start building the other pillars as well, similar to this, add the new windows. And once I get up to here, I will close it with this line of uh, reddish brown and this whole wall will be done obviously i'll have to finish the big window here which is mostly done and to, should be relatively quick to seal it off as well and then i'm doing the same with the other side and believe it or not this whole process up till me starting to build the, to build by layers it was very time consuming i think maybe 15 20 hours to figure everything out and just this side here took a lot of trial and error just to see and tweak things out. But once I had it really set on it, I built this layer and this layer in maybe four hours or so. So it's a lot faster. Also, I might be needing some more pieces like the two by four tiles that are on the other side. Um, I used the fixed amount for before I didn't use any for the window frames on the back side. I only use it around the wall. Now I'm using basically double or triple the amount of those, and I don't, I don't think I have enough, so I'm ordering those. Also, these um, one by ones they'll be used quite a lot for over here because the section here wasn't present before. Now it is, so all of these will be used. I have a couple of hundred, and I might need a few hundred more, and so on. So basically that's it. It's a lot of work and people said that I am out of my mind for doing this yet again. <laughs> Is it the third time I'm doing this? The fourth, the fifth time? I just said I, I lost track. But anyway, being afraid is actually loser's mentality and you don't have to be, you shouldn't be afraid to do things like this if it will make, make your mock better. And of course, if you have the time to spare. But um, I am kind of set myself in the, mental image that I'm not going to hurry. I'm going to, well, obviously try to do it quickly, but I'm not forcing myself to not sleep and so on and uh, neglect other things in my life. But yeah, I like the space. I expect uh, next time 
to be able to show you this whole wall and the other wall as well. Yeah, why not? Really depends how much time I have, but it would be nice to have this these both these walls uh, placed, the mills plate for the inside as well, with this maybe fixed. And who knows, maybe even the uh, arches on top. So once again, thank you for watching. I feel like this is another very exciting chapter for this mock and it will look even even better with the all the new changes and all the new additions. So I'll go back to building and you will see me very very soon. Thanks for watching. Stay healthy. Bye for now.